The roads and winding lanes are the only remaining traces of a village now wiped from the map. This is Imarat. There were hundreds of homes here just a few years ago, plus a church, a health centre, schools, all demolished to fuel Germany's hunger for dirty brown coal. All that's left now are memories. I go every day here to the bus. Every day to the bus every stop? Every day from my house to the bus stop. And now, no bus, no bus stop? Nothing. No How do you feel? Sad. It's like Mordor here. Petra grew up here, but there's no trace of her old home. This whole area is due to be engulfed by a coal mine owned by RWE, the biggest energy company in Germany, the backbone of this nation's industrial might. Imarat was flattened to allow for the expansion of this massive open cast coal mine, which supplies a local power station that is one of the most polluting in the whole of Europe. Now, the German government has got a plan to phase out coal, but at the same time, this coal mine has got plans to get even bigger. And that would mean the demolition of more local villages. This is one of them, Lutzerat. Most residents have sold up and moved, but protesters have come in their place, determined to halt the destruction, and some of them living in trees as they plan how to stop the looming demolition. We are rich in Germany. We have a high income, high living standards, and we need to start making changes here because we can. For other protesters, there is inspiration from a German hero, Beethoven. In another of the area's condemned villages, a farm has been turned into an impromptu concert venue, staged to throw a spotlight on the plight of this region. Here, the names of villages that have either gone or which are set to be bulldozed. The man organising this concert is Norbert. He's lived on the farm for his entire life, and the spectre of the mine expansion now haunts him. When you hear these excavators running and you see the light from the mine, very, very bright light, and no one is here, then it's very... it puts a lot of pressure on you. And there is something discordant here. Germany has pledged to phase out coal by 2038, and yet here is Europe's richest country pummeling communities in pursuit of lignite, the most polluting form of coal. So why do it? RWE told us that abandoning coal power has to happen gradually and insists the destruction can't be stopped. Lignite mining means uh, advancing through the landscape. And you can't just kind of leave out one space and switch to a, another one. You would have to open a new mine and that's, that would not be feasible. And it's got something to do with the law. And this coal exit law says that um, uh, Garzweiler mine is uh, necessary for the security of supply in Germany beyond 2030. Back at the concert, a storm breaks out, a deluge drenches the farm. But the musicians play on. Round here, resilience is a very precious virtue. Adam Parsons, Sky News.